up YouTube, YouTube, all right? So today I'm gonna do a tutorial video on how to record your MIDI notes through the MPC hardware, how to record, actually record them into Ableton using the MPC hardware. I know a lot of people use the MPCs and I don't know if they use, it's, they, I'm sure there's some people that use the MPC with Ableton or try to at least, but this is a um, way that I figured out how to actually use the hardware and record the MIDI notes actually into Ableton and have them play back the MIDI notes through the MPC software, right? So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the MPC and load it into Ableton as a plugin. All right. So we got that now, right? All right. So now let's just load up. Um, let's load up a program so we can get some sounds in here. So we're running the MPC software as a VST plugin. Right? And I know a lot of people. Like I did a lot of searching, I searched YouTube and it kind of gave me an idea of what I wanted to do, but it didn't really work how I wanted to work. So I did some Google searching and the answers were kind of scattered around. So I kind of put the information that I found and along with a little trial and error and I actually figured out how to get this going. So now we got our program loaded up. You hear the sounds of playing. But what, what happens is the MPC hardware pretty much transmits MIDI straight to the the software as a VST. So you really at this point you're really not gonna get any MIDI inside Ableton. Let's say we got the MC, MPC track right here. We'll record, on um, record that one, and we'll record, right? So you see we're recording right here. Still hearing sounds. Nothing is recording into Ableton, right? All right. So we see right there, we got a blank, blank clip here, all right? Let's go ahead and delete that. And we all know that we can record, actually hit the record button and still record inside the MPC software here as we stand right now. So what we want to do is actually record the MIDI notes here in Ableton and get them to play back the sounds here in the MPC software, right? So what we need to do is First, we need to go to MIDI control mode, which is shift song, or would it, it would be other, so shift other. So now the MPC hardware is in MIDI control mode. It's pretty much just standing as a MIDI controller right now. All right. So now what we wanna do is navigate to your MPC content folder. I have mine moved on a second hard drive because it's just, taking up too much space all right so we're going to go to i have my here instruments type of file so we'll go to right here mpc content so find your mpc content folder content let's go back on the filter midi control scenes that's what we're looking for right here so click on that and you'll find this file classic mpc dot mcn so what you want to do is double click that and when I double click this you'll see the, the descriptions or whatever these is you'll see all this stuff kind of change so I'm gonna double click this all right now you saw that change there all right so now what that's gonna do is basically allow this to transmit MIDI out to here right so as we're pushing, we still don't have sound, right? So what we're gonna do is go to live, go to your preferences, 
and in your preferences you're going to make sure this is on output mpc renaissance public make sure that it's on i already got this turned on right and now i don't know this thing is, is it kind of works kind of buggy does it i don't know what what happens why it doesn't work every time so let's go back to um I'll go back to my preferences and I'll do this. I'll cut this off and I'll cut it on. So that, that's what it does. So when you cut, I guess I and when I had it on already, it didn't register or something. I don't know what's going on with that, but just when you wanted to get it to work, make sure you come here and turn this on. So that's actually the what it's doing is this, the hardware is routing through Ableton back into the MPC software. It's kind of like on the other side. If you go back to main menu, you're right back in, you know, your MPC software. So if we go back to MIDI control mode. Programs from MIDI control mode, and that would allow us to, if we come here, this has been kind of tricky, but like I said, um, I'm just jumping into Ableton yesterday, and I wanted to make sure that I can make this work before I actually committed to buying the software, so let's see if we can get it. Okay, now we have an actual clip I guess I, I'm, I'm guessing that's what you call it you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments so we'll play it back and you see we have MIDI transmitting from Ableton back into the NPC software which is which is awesome right and if we go back to normal NPC software we click play you can see the notes trigger right here and there's nothing in it all, that's all, all the media is coming from Ableton so if you got any questions comments suggestions leave them down below in the comments um, like this video um, subscribe I'm gonna try to do some more tutorial videos. I just figured out a way to actually run the note repeat because in MIDI control mode, the note repeat doesn't work. So I'm gonna do another video um, on how to actually set up a type of note repeat. And also, I set up my control so this can control my playing stop record inside Ableton and that, that's pretty simple and I explain a lot of that stuff in my next video so thank you for watching and I catch you next time